Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Black Opinions Matter, motherfucker. My name is Amino Hassan. I'm joined, as always, by Black Trey, Jay Skills, Juju Gotti, and Big Jerv. We got a great show for you guys today. We're going to talk about why is it when a celebrity gets caught cheating, everybody loses their mind. Question was lobbed in the chat, talking about Tiger Woods, of all people. So we're going to break it down for you people. Why people lose their mind when the celebrities get caught cheating. Not all celebrities, I'm going to say that right now. Also, T.I. maybe, possibly ran down on some club about some shit. We're going to get into that. And also ask what other rappers could run down on a club in their hometown and make shit happen. Also, these rap acronyms, like, was it truly humbled under God is what Young Thug actually stands for, as his lawyer says. Is it getting too much? We'll get into that. Aaron Rodgers, is he going to come back? Is he going to do it? We got an update on the Sleeper League power rankings as the playoffs near. But first, we start news. Oh, no. Wait. But first, patreon.com slash count the things. That's where you get all the extra content. The live watch-alongs with Cinephobe. We're doing Action Jackson on Monday, December 4th. If you're listening to this as this podcast uh, release, uh, you get the special edition to the uh, episodes. You get the OG podcast. You get the discord. You got so much more. Make sure you locked in patreon.com slash count the dings. It is well worth your while. And now let's get started with the college football playoffs. Florida state. Take your asses home. Did y'all, uh, did y'all see the, the college football pick? Already? Yeah, I just yeah. seen it. It just came across. Talk should. to me. I didn't see it. What's going on? Oh, so uh Bama's in over Florida State. So it's Michigan, uh, Washington, Texas, and Bama. One, two, three, four. How y'all feel about that? I think that's some good bumps. That's whack. No, that's whack. whack. How's that whack? Yeah, that's whack. That's some good um, bump right there, bro. First, yeah. let me let me let me say I am a Florida Gator fan. So the words that are wait, about wait, to come wait, out of my wait, wait. When did this happen? Yeah, we I never. never heard about this. I never. I mean, there's, there's no. I mean, has my team been good since we've been on the pod? There's no reason to be talking about. I've been a Florida Gator fan since probably about like '95. Bro, I've been knowing you since 2017. I ain't never heard you talk about the Florida Gators. I ain't never seen you post about the Florida Gators. This shit is random <laughs> as hell, bro. Like you ain't. I mean, got no, you ain't got no Florida Gator Emmett Smith shit on. You ain't. Oh, well, first of all, first of all, my G. Let me just make it clear, right? How did you Some even Florida. become a Florida Gators fan? Um, so all my college teams basically are it's a very contrarian move. Um, I told y'all how I became a Duke fan. Uh, I became a Florida fan because I went to the the elementary school I went to, all the black kids. You know what's were, coming, by the way, right? We're Florida State fans. Okay, keep going. And I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna be a Florida fan because I wanted to be an asshole to the to, to everybody. And I've just been a Florida fan ever since. Yeah. But you from Philly. Right. So like, college. So, so, so I'm, I'm going to keep it a bean. To, to here in Philly, right, college sports aren't as crazy unless you really went to those schools. So, for instance, if you went to St. Joe's, Villanova, or something like that, college basketball is really big to you no, here. No, no, I'm not asking you to be a local fan. My thing is, is how did you even get there, bro? So they was probably so so like like so, it's so many good colleges like that. I just said, but like Florida, it was at that time it was Florida State, Miami, and Florida were the top. And what year is this team? This is probably about 93, 92 ish or whatever, 92, 93, or whatever. I became a Florida fan. Um, my early, you know, Danny Warfel and them. Shout out to Danny Warfel. You know what I mean? Heisman Trophy winner, baby. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? National <laughs> champion. So Danny you know, was old... cooking. Danny was yeah. cooking. He was like, all right, I'm going to just, I'm going to roll with the Gators. So no, I was not. See, no, I didn't do that. What I did was everyone was a Florida State fan. I don't like liking the team. I, you know, I so many other colleges. You don't have to go get the rival or the end state. Like, that's where I'm trying to I see. Like, bro, bro, I, I developed it's an like, age it's of like talking. It's like if Juju was like, oh, I'm a Georgia fan. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be a Tech fan. <laughs> nah, I that's why I like that Alabama. Nigga. I like Alabama because all my partners like Georgia. That's so yeah, bro. I like them. But like, I, I've been talking shit since, since I was a kid. That's conference shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, it's a whole bunch. Look, it's a whole bunch of college teams. I took yeah. uh, whatever my homeboys like. I I want to hate that shit so bad just because I know it's Hell fucking. Yeah. It's, it's a game. Like if it's real life, I got you right or wrong. You feel me? Oh, I'm, I'm rocking you with love, you, baby. I'm, right. still, I'm still not Kirby letting Jerv off the hook. I'm still not letting Jerv <laughs> off. The hook. No, I mean it's it's cool. I mean, listen. This is the perfect time for y'all to hear that I'm a Florida fan, right? No, no, no. See, see, this is what you're doing, and I'm not, I'm not rolling. Like my man Jason say, I'm not rolling, baby. You're not about to compare you being a Cowboys, Yankees, and all these other fans to me liking for for publicly announcing that I like a college football team that has not won in a very long time. Like Yo. it's not like it's not like we just made the playoffs, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Florida fan. Like what? I no, been, no, I would have been mad as shit if Florida actually was like solid, and they actually won a national title. Not seen this nigga with a Florida jersey and a hat on. <laughs> I'd be hot. Nah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't really have. Uh, you know what's yeah. crazy? The Sixers ain't done shit. You still post videos about it. Well, hold on, bro. Ho, ho, ho. See, this is. <laughs> I'm just saying, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Not on the Lord. Not not on not on the Lord. I didn't, I didn't say the Eagles. I didn't say the Eagles. Successful team, successful franchise. But we talking about the Sixers. They ain't really did shit, brother. You still I mean, bro, talk I'm about you play, this. you play the theme song. But but listen, you've been That's rocking. Blood. Listen, you've been rocking with these <laughs> niggas in Florida since I was motherfucking nine years old. For 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this we nigga seen, literally. We ain't seen said, one tweet. We ain't one. seen one Gator nothing. Nothing. I see no. Duke, nigga Duke lost to North Carolina twice, nigga, during Coach K's last so, tenure. And we heard more about Duke than fucking Florida. So I ain't so buying let me, this Let me, let me say the words let of Jason say, Madison. Listen. Me no rolls. No roll. Can me I no get no six roll. me no rolls? Thank you. <laughs> you ain't got you ain't got to buy shit, dog. It's on the menu. I'll tell you that. Whether you buy it or not, it's still on the menu for purchase. And all I'm gonna tell you is, I mean, like, it's cool. Like, out of all my teams, I would say Florida is probably the lesser of like if I had to rank, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, like obviously, so you got, so you got to build up your flyers above them. Nah. <laughs> nah. Because so I haven't, I've been over crack. So, why are you lying to us? You don't have to lie to us. It's How am I lying? Because the Flyers, because because I like Florida more than I like the Flyers. You know, you literally said <laughs> this is at the bottom of the list, bro. I can go, I can keep going. That's you the only lie. team, bro. That, like bro. the only team that's below them. Like, go name them all. Name them all. I, bro, like, I listen, I would love to talk about my teams. Let's talk where's, about them. We can talk about them. <laughs> you like Florida more than Hampton? Yeah, definitely. You had no, I'm sorry. No, Hampton more than Florida. Excuse me, Hampton more than Florida because I went to the school. Like, I mean, that's that's an easy question, bro. Oh, if oh, Hampton man. played Duke, if Hampton played Duke, uh huh, I'm a hundred percent rolling with Hampton on the game. That's a fucking lie. I don't believe <laughs> that. No, why isn't why isn't it? It's happened. Jerry, I, I, I watch. I, I've, seen, I've seen you defend Duke like Jay Z, bro. Bro, dog. On on a national base of Twitter universe or whatever you want to say, right? <laughs> what the hell is no that? one no, wants to talk that. about fucking Hampton University basketball. If you want me to bore y'all with all my, ha- I, I talk about homecoming because homecoming is just outside and, and shit don't count. <laughs> it's niggas that don't even go to schools that go to homecoming. Okay, okay. but <laughs> athletics like you, if I go, I'll go to the game. Like I pull up anytime they're in the area, I pull up every single time. So, okay. so if wait, Florida wait. came to town, I pull up too with Gator Gear on. So wait, getting back to the topic, why don't you think that the college football picks was right? Because I so thank you, Jay. Because <laughs> as a Florida Gator fan, it pains me to say this. I think Georgia got screwed. What you you, they, you lost. Well, look, I understand. Yeah, I, I understand, bro. They were number one. Was they were crazy. number one in the country. Okay. Right? They were number one in the country. Hadn't lost all year. So yes, they should have dropped, but you trying to tell me on any given on any given Saturday you think Texas would beat Georgia? Because I don't. I do actually. Okay. I do actually. I think Texas is super nice, and uh, Georgia and I, got they nice. They, they not got Brock Bowers, they. and it and it gets real thin after that. Like their quarterback is all right. Whatever you know, what I'm saying they just I don't know. They didn't have the best strength of schedule. They went up against some dogs and got beat. You feel me? So, oh, George, you talking about Georgia or Texas? Excuse no, me. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. They they lost one game. They didn't yeah. go up against. The, they, 
they're and arguably they're the toughest conference in in America. They they run through it all and lost one game. Well, the Pac-12 might have been the toughest conference in America to keep it funky with you. We've been telling you. I hear you. Telling you all okay. year. You don't want to hear. I hear. It. Look, hey, Juju, no? Juju, 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 Juju. I hear you. I hear you. Talking about Juju. Who's in the SEC that niggas is really scared of? Every single team. Every team. You think the best team? Nigga Any ranked team. Auburn, Auburn, Auburn lost Auburn. to New Mexico State. What you talking about? And, they, and guess who they almost beat last week? Almost. almost, almost well, it took a miracle. No, no, no. Come on. We can't do it. It took a miracle <laughs> last play, fourth and 31, to for Alabama to beat Auburn last week. And that's just a bump. That's a trash-ass SEC team. Like, it's a lot of... We could we could play games a lot, but it's SEC the strongest conference in the in the. What is he doing? What is he doing? Is this is when the West Coast bias shit just come out, and y'all just right. get real West Coast. Go down the line, Tennessee, bro, Tennessee, will never, be everybody we, over we there. We never did no, we ain't did no West Coast bias, bro. We just saying, y'all, bro, y'all never think y'all do West Coast bias. Y'all literally never do. We haven't though. I know what the SEC, <laughs> the SEC, SEC. First of all, is elite. Don't get it twisted, but. Have some love for Pac-12, nigga. Most of the fucking quarterbacks from over all all over transfer to the Pac-12, nigga. Most of the teams got a lot of transfers from other conferences this year. But saying the yeah, SEC yeah, is yeah. better than them does not mean we're not you, saying the Pac-12 at, is trash. If you looked at the ranked motherfucking schools in the fucking Pac-12. And you look and compare it to other people. We're talking about white folks rankings and shit, bro. Put them folks on between the lines. <laughs> put Tennessee out there and put uh, hey, who out All I'm going to say is Texas is going to win this there. motherfucker, bro. Arizona. Arizona. So, hold up. Put, okay. Put Arizona out there and then throw Alabama out there. What you think going to happen? But Alabama is one of the best. Okay, throw, okay, Arizona, throw Georgia. Hey, throw, throw Georgia. Georgia throw Georgia out there. Throw Georgia. But, but you, just Georgia out the, you just threw out one of the weakest links, bro. Put, well, I, I, Arizona. I put Arizona, Arizona and still put, put, there, uh, Florida put Washington out there, out there though. No, Florida. Washington, put Washington and put Florida Washington. out there. Who going to win? Well, we about to watch Washington play Alabama, and we about to see what the Pac-12 does against the SEC. Hey, I man. actually think Washington's a better team, though. Hey, you know, Washington hey, all the way hey, real. Hey, and when, make that and when, listen, and when Washington do their west side, I want you to apologize on the next pod. Exactly. I just said I think Washington's going to win the game. No, 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 no. But I want you to apologize. Apologize for what? You talking to Pac-12, nigga? Oh, fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck on it, goddamn microphone. I don't even know you talking to me or Jerry. I don't give a damn about that. Y'all can have a good team. Look, it's good teams all over the place. You say Washington five. Of course, Washington got pennies. He from Indiana. Y'all don't act like this, bro. Y'all five. Y'all got some good people over there. Location don't matter where you born. It's where you finish. That's it. Yo, can I finish my fucking like okay? Go ahead, bro. But y'all got it, bro. (laughs) No, this is you got it, bro. You got it. Nah, bro. It's like, look, it's not disrespectful for us to realize that. Oh, yeah, Pac 12 is they came along, they got some good good wins and some good teams this year. But just from the eye test and from just like reality, you could see that the SEC's conference, you play South Carolina any given Sunday and you might lose Saturday. I mean. You play like every single team on the SEC could give you a, a L. Kentucky, you know what I mean? Like these, these folks can really get you a, one. I feel the same about Pac-12. I personally feel the same. All so you, th- so you say that, that the the Pac-12 is better than the SEC? Absolutely not. Absolutely. That's not. the whole that's thing that we that, that's what that's this whole thing is about. No, 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 no. no. I, we said this year, it is. This Bruh. year. Yeah, and I, I don't think I don't and I'm not Carolina saying consecutively right because so again I don't think South Carolina could really do nothing with I'm saying the they'll give you a tough skit. That's give they'll give you a they tough skit at the noon. They might, yeah, they give yeah, you that's all I'm saying. I'll tell you I'm this the you, only you team I Arizona, think Georgia would been scared of them since you said it. The word <laughs> Arizona out loud. <laughs> Who that? Who else they got in there? Not, like just name the teams. That's what I want to do. I mean, the only team Georgia would lose to Washington. can beat anybody on a given night. You know that. That's it, bro. You it Georgia will. They got the highest. Okay. You told me they can't beat it, win good. a game. Or I'm, I'm an East Coast. I'm East Coast. I have no bias at all. Like I, I, right. I don't. I, I'm not on the West. I'm not in the South. The I'm just from, the quarterbacks from the DMV. By the way, Keep let me let me. Just, but hold on. So you, that matters. In in my humble opinion of just watching college football games, nah, nigga, don't be humble, nigga. Fuck out of here. Talk. Fucking Georgia. Would mop the floor with damn near every team in the um, Pac-12 outside of Washington. What about Oregon? I, Georgia. I mean, I mean but would mop the, the floor with anyone in the Pac-12 outside of Washington. I do. You, I got specifically say Oregon's gonna get mopped because they. 
again, this conversation that, 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 shit, that, that shit that shit is that's, that's cool. You I understand. Just, just, I mean, just I mean, line they got it up. You lining up the best SEC versus the best Pac-12 team. That's all you is is lining up the smoke. You ain't you ain't really answering what we saying. We saying overall this season, Pac-12 had the best conference, the toughest schedule this season. Not on, not disagree. overall, not the I past disagree. twenty years, not the past ten years, not the past five years. Everybody know that SEC <laughs> is the place to be. If you got a chance to prove who, whoever you want to be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. That's where you want to be. You want to be where the SEC level is. But this year, a lot of people transferred into Pac-12 to make it actually make sense this season. I'm not Brother, saying you was right on Colorado losing those games. Like you was right on Colorado, and I owe you some money behind that. But you're not like the 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 Pac-12 being tougher than the SEC is your take, and I let you have this it. season. No, I'm not saying sure. this is your take, and I disagree with that, and I agree or disagree. No, no, no. Uh, I, it's, me it's personally, no, me personally, but it's no, but it's not, it's not a me fact. Personally. By the way, it's not a fact. I'm not you saying, saying it like it's a fact. That's you tell niggas <laughs> no, to I'm apologize as, and I'm, shit the I'm fuck say, up and I'm shit. Saying it as, man. That's what I'm saying. saying I don't that. talk to nobody like that. I don't tell nobody. Hold on. He was talking to me. And he I just want to make sure he was talking to me and he wasn't telling me shut the fuck up. I just want to make that clear. That that, that okay. did not happen. I, mean, <laughs> I, was, I, was, talking, I was talking to Jerry the whole time. Apologize tomorrow, nigga. Fuck but I, but, but, I, but I but I but I like that you was defending Jerry. He ain't say little like, boy either. So stop putting all that hot sauce that's on this I shit, my nigga. Stop putting all that hot sauce on it, my nigga. I heard that. <laughs> boy. All I'm saying, this nigga put it all types of seasoning on this shit, dog. I thought all I'm saying is, listen, when Washington wins, Jerb, Jerb, I want an apology. That's it, sir. That's it. No, but, because you know, I, I like, said I Washington like is going to win. Like, I don't understand. I'm, I'm For the record, I'm still saying no because I said Washington should beat Bama. Why would I apologize yeah, for what I believe? Yeah, apologize, Bama, for, yeah. apologize for me, Trey. Why well, I, I said that Colorado is going to win. I'm looking at it right here. Why? I'm wrong. sorry, Michigan. Excuse me. I apologize. I'm sorry. I looked at it wrong. They're not even going to play Bama because Michigan going to be probably yeah, Bama anyway. Texas might end up beating uh, Washington. Texas go Texas gonna win it all. That's yeah, the crazy thing it about it. Texas win it all. No, nah, not with the tough pack 12. Ah. Not with the tough pack 12. <laughs> tough pack, the tough pack 12 going hold up, time out. The tough how pack 12 we, gonna lose to the SEC Texas. How did we get to the Big 12? SEC, my, my how did we get to the Big 12, Christ. brother? Yeah. You you try. I'm sorry, it didn't happen yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My, my bad. My bad. That, that, that's a year. That's a year. That's hey, a year. Look, look, look my, my bad. My bad. He trying to move things around to make it make sense. He's playing. Yeah. He's doing the Rubik's Cube right now to just make it work. You don't have to do that. The fact that you're a Florida fan rooting for whoever and all his yes, other Mr. Yes, Mr. Cowboy yes, Yankee Florida. fan. Okay. Yes. I'm just, I'm just, yes, I'm a front runner, bro. 19, I was 10 years old. Thank you. Woo. That. Now that Thank is you. the clip right there. No, but I've that's always, the first time I've you admitted that. that. No, no, I've always said that though. I was joke. I, I I admitted to that the last time we did it. My thing was hey Jason, Tom, no, throw throw a flag on the play. This man mm -hmm. trying to say that he agreed to that he was a front runner. He was defending how am I a front runner? No, 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 no. Now you just gonna try and slip in and say you were front no. Even My the thing is, his voice was like, I just admitted it. No, no, <laughs> like, come on, y'all like, nah, you up, see, up. yo, he, he's Rubik's Cube in this whole fucking conversation. Nah, y'all got me fucked up, man. <laughs> y'all got me all the way fucked up. If I could choose a team at fucking 10 years old and I go back and look at some of y'all old photos, y'all gonna be in some of them fucking jerseys. They might find Juju in a Thurman Thomas jersey and find Jason in a motherfucking Troy Aikman. I don't want to. I'm hear the that wrong team. person on that. I wear no, every jersey no. now. I wear right. teams I hate. Teams yeah. right now. No, but you like you like a, you like an LA gangbanger, bro. Like how we like hats. You know right. what I'm saying? You like the color. You gonna fuck with it. You go just roll with it. Like that's a hard jersey. The number and the player. He. I, I'm a personal fan of that. Of that's which, how you rock with it. I need a, I need a Barry Sanders jersey. I don't know if y'all seen that documentary. I seen the doc, but Eminem ruined that shit for me, bro. That I don't know why they be having Eminem like. Is he Detroit, bro? I know, I know, but I'm just saying it's like we could have had. Is he the most famous person from Detroit? Oh, for sure. Big mm, Meech. Um, that's a good question. Big Meech, man. What you mean, big? He's, now you saying <laughs> some nigga shit. <laughs> now you saying big Meech not famous, nigga. more famous than no, Eminem? Hell, what are you talking Look, about? I'm Trey? just joking. I'm about the makers of Pac-12 better than I'm being a nigga. I'm being a nigga. Don't don't buy those two together, Juju. I'm being a nigga, man. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. Though. Who is the most famous person from Detroit ever? They might, I mean, be. might be Barry Sanders, honestly. Barry, Barry Sanders. Sanders is he more famous than Eminem? That's actually a good question. 
No, it's Eminem. No, he's not Eminem. Like, Eminem. Like, why, why are y'all? Do y'all hear yourselves? It's Eminem. Like, it's not no, even Eminem. a question. No, no, no. no, Eminem's hella global. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> like, Kid, like, Kid Rock might be hella yeah. global though. No, nah, Eminem oh, is yeah. more Kid, popular. Kid Rock from Detroit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Detroit yeah. Rock. Yeah, yeah. Detroit, right. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. They might. Yeah, they might be the neck and neck. But also, Kid Rock Motown, say some wild shit. Motown. No, okay. Yeah, Kid Rock is a motherfucking Republican nigga. He's yeah, right. I just want to make sure. Okay. Oh yeah, no, that nigga shot up a whole thing of Bud Lights with a uh, assault <laughs> rifle. That boy don't give a fuck. <laughs> but he started. He started out on some wanting to be a, a you know, rapper type shit. He was. A, he was the OG Wigger. Kid Rock. Yeah, or, like Pitbull. He, he did the pink. He he did the pink move. What's ain't that what the uh the John from Philly? She came out, did the she 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 did the hip hop oh, songs go. and then there right. you go. Yeah, the LaFace. So I, I just did my Googles, right? Mm. Get let's 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 see who we choosing out of this. Who okay. is the most famous person from Detroit? Mm-hmm. One, Eminem, mm. two, Diana Ross, mm. three, mm. Kid Rock, or four, Barry Gordy. Eminem. Barry Gordy, get out of here. Uh Barry Gordy. <laughs> <Eminem. laughs> Might be the guy. No. Nah, you Eminem. can't say Barry Gordy to a little kid right now. Nah, you there are kids in Asia that know who Eminem is. No, Eminem, Eminem is the guy. Eminem, you don't know no Barry guy. Gordy and Diana Ross with all due respect. Like, hood legends. Legends in the world, but just not legends over there. Yeah, Honorable right. mention, Anita Baker. Smokey Rob. Auntie pretty famous, but she not famous. Big Sean. John Witherspoon. Right. Jackie Wilson. Tom Selleck. Mm, mustache partner. <laughs> yeah. Jay Dilla. Proof. No. All right. Bizarre. Okay. Bizarre. Chris <laughs> Weber. Jay <Jayla laughs> Rose. Now, now, at, 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 at his peak, because of what they did, obviously not now, but at his peak, Weber might have been up there just because of what Michigan was doing and, and how they were being yeah. um, put out there and, and, and throughout, the, throughout the, the world on some Nike so. shit. So Weber, as crazy as he is on honorable mention, obviously it's not now, but at, at his peak, I, I can I could probably argue that he was if he's not if he wasn't you know up there, he was close enough to Eminem. But the music like, I feel like touches more people. Pause, you know, like right? No, it does. I, I was just I was thinking more about the times and and just how yeah. how they basically were the ones that sparked the whole shit. And in order for them to spark the whole shit, means that. They had to fucking be flaunt it out there and and you know. Right. But yeah, I was gonna say about the uh Barry Sanders doc, it was interesting about how this nigga um left the team and how he ended up retiring. Like I don't remember him being the second all time leader rusher when he retired. I remember <laughs> that shit. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't I didn't remember that uh that he, he had two like teammates that had low key like Demar Hamlin type situations. Like one one of them got paralyzed, another one like had a like cardiac arrest type situation on the field. Like Damn. yeah, so that like basically he was, I guess all of his homies got traded away like on the O line. So that was one of the things that they were saying because he never like really reveals it. I was that nigga daddy, bro. That nigga was like the Levar Ball before Levar. Ball, oh yeah, his, his pops was on. He was getting that shit off, bro. Yeah, for like, sure. But he, he was. wasn't bad. That nigga nah, said, he was cool. "Who's the greatest running backs?" That nigga said, "Jim Brown, me, and my son Barry." <laughs> Nobody <laughs> seen no clips of this nigga, man. This nigga yeah. just threw himself in the top three. That's killer. That's just, so killer. Hey, it's I heard somebody say this last money. week. I heard, about, I heard somebody say this, and it, and it stuck with me because I can't think of it either. Is this some footage out of Thanasis Antetokounmpo earning his way into the NBA somewhere out there? Because I want to see. Yeah, yeah. They, they like they put together the things of him in the G League and stuff like that, where he balled out in the G League. And Thanasis, I think he, I want to say he was he got in the league separately. I can't remember whether it was the same year as Giannis or the year after him, but he played for the Knicks. It was the year after and, with the Knicks. Yeah, he, I mean, he wasn't he wasn't awful. Like, yeah. it wasn't like, this nigga's clearly not NBA. But also, okay. he wasn't like, this nigga's nice. No one ever said that either. <laughs> yeah, he's never, I mean, been, like, he's never been used as nice. It, it's, I'm going to tell you, like, it's it's very, very extremely rare to be someone like, clearly you're not NBA caliber. And you yeah. want an NBA roster. Like, now, I'm not saying guaranteed that there's not spot. better. Yeah, guaranteed spot. I'm not saying there ain't niggas better than him out there uh, who aren't in the league right now. Of course, I think there are. But I don't think he's – he ain't Chris Smith level. 
his yeah, role, Christmas. his role is important, though. I will tell you this. Uh, for sure, player, you're keeping the you're keeping the best player happy. That's right, there's nothing. Right. The well, best no, player not, perhaps what, in the league. Well, well, no, not that. Can we start the Bossa Nova right <laughs> now? <laughs> back yeah man so like my man earns his keep in some he way <laughs> right like he keeps his brother in line it's all right you know but wait why are we talking about the nazis by the way we were talking about someone else we're talking about barry sanders that was on me the yeah, marijuana yeah. is a hell of a drug they <laughs> <laughs> had said something and my mind went that way dog that's on me. i mean look it's never a bad segue this is what the pause for. Chime in if you're ever curious. This is like the Google search, <laughs> but it's the audio yeah. form with friends, nigga. Um, but Barry Sanders, like, 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 like because Jason said he didn't remember that he retired the second greatest, the second most yards, rushing yards in NFL history. And all I can remember is this nigga was like, it, you know how we say like Steph Curry is the best shooter of all time, and it's not even a dis- debate or discussion. Like, yeah. they just accept that. Like, that's what Barry Sanders felt like. Like, this oh, yeah. is the greatest running back ever. And this, I, I don't want to hear shit else. Nobody else <laughs> comes close. And nobody would argue with you on that. And it's funny Except for Cowboys like, fans. Not even. Not even. Not even. Because they know if they had Barry on with that line and that squad. That's the thing. Them niggas, niggas going to have probably more championships than Emmitt. Absolutely. Mm. And, and the, the crazy thing mm. is. Trey, I can't remember which one of y'all said he was mad because they traded all his boys who were on the O-line. And I was kind of like, all right, I heard that shit. I was like, low-key, I would have been like, get these bum-ass niggas out of here. (laughs) Be loyal to some weak-ass niggas, man. (laughs) And Juju, that's why why you said the Nazis. (laughs) (laughs) These niggas are with the O-line just because they were his homies. That's it. There was no football reason for them to be there. (laughs) Jason, how old were you? Uh, in see, I did, I did the math. In 1999, <laughs> I was 12. I, but okay, I, was a, so- I was a huge fan of Barry Sanders. I'm, I'm saying, like, I fucked with bro, and I thought he was the greatest running back. I still think he was the greatest running back of all time. I'm saying I didn't I, – I remember him walking away early in his career, and, and everybody – 30 years old. Everybody being yeah. like, damn, like, this nigga was in his prime, and I didn't realize how close he was at that young age of breaking every fucking record. <laughs> like yeah. – yeah, yeah, no, he he was easily by far like one of the most elusive. Obviously, we've seen other, you know, we got we got Bijan Sanders, we got you know a couple motherfuckers that's just doing their west side, you know, in the backfield, but also other backs that can catch. Y'all are Daniel Tomlinson, huh? Bijan Robinson, but I was calling him Bijan Sanders because he's like a protege, you know. Oh, I got what you did there. I was thank you, thank you, thank you, 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 you was locked, you was locked in with me. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, bro. But it was. <laughs> I, I think in, in in certain in certain points, like right, you were twelve, and like this nigga dipped off right before the year two thousand. He's like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go to London," which was random as hell, and just you know what I mean, and just do his thing, right? But it was just so crazy because he was a nigga to get ahead. He ain't got no crazy injuries. He ain't got no CTE. You know what I mean? Like he did, niggas contact him. Never, <laughs> they, they, they you know what I mean? Nigga, got, <laughs> nigga was just doing all no his injuries. shit. <laughs> and you think about like Megatron walking away, and you think about the niggas, like, the niggas had two all time like all time great. That yeah, you know crazy that is as a franchise that you had not one but two niggas that were the elite of the elite elite. Say you know what? Never mind. I'm cool. <laughs> right. I'm that's cool. I'm nuts. good on this shit. That's fucking nuts. If y'all haven't seen uh, what is it uh, Bear, Bye Bye Barry or Barry Bye Bye. Bye, it bye, 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 better bye, not bye, be buried. Bye, bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're not watching for that. Yo, shout out to, to Miles Brown. He said he turned that shit on, and then he was like, "Ooh, I'm getting excited about this shit." And then he heard the Eminem song and turned that shit off and went and took a nap. <laughs> Yo, you know what's funny about Barry is when I don't know if y'all y'all remember this shit, Jerv. You might because you're a little older, but like when that nigga retired, everyone was like, "He'll be back." That he just need a break. Like, the motherfuckers kept waiting. And then one day, like, shit like he burnt out. Barry never. That shit was like, that shit was like Tupac. The niggas right. swore, like, oh, he'll be back. He's all right. Like, he's like, you know, he need a little <laughs> little time to refresh. And then it turned into, he'll be back. He just don't want to play for the Lions. No more. He's, he's waiting his contract out. 
when the contract you gotta end up somewhere else. And then I remember looking up one day, like, yo, that nigga never came back, huh? Bear <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Sanders, Bear hey. Sanders, the only nigga I ever seen that got an even all over a little throat the entire time I ever yep. seen. Yeah, that shit like, never grew. That, that shit, shit never, never grew out, and he no, never cut it down. Yeah, that might right. be the that might be the easiest haircut. I don't, I don't know who that. Like that's the nigga <laughs> right. who we need to find. Who's Barry Sanders barber nigga during Detroit? <laughs> Cause that nigga Shout probably out. was stealing money, or he had the easiest no, job. Like, that it is cool. Be, that nigga put a <laughs> helmet cool. over. A I was about to say. And any any hairs that come up top, he just zoop, 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 take the helmet off, and the nigga back. That's it. Like, yo, maybe a little edge up. No line. Yo, just, just a young cut. nigga. No, asking, that was no lineup. That nigga had the same. Hey, no a young a young nigga <laughs> going to the barber shop and asking for a Barry Sanders cut is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Let me get the Barry Sanders, my nigga. No, if, I, if I had if I just had hair. Like back in the day, I go, I do that shit. I grow my yeah, hair out. Just the point of poop, just the poop point. After this episode at work, I go do. I'll bring that shit back. I do, but you know, I can't be, I can't be, I can't be, exper- experiment. I can't be experimenting anymore. Hey, <laughs> don't have those we, luxuries. As we have the the the, 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 the resident Georgian, I don't know if you consider yourself. Oh. Are you? Do you consider yourself oh. an AT alien? Oh, oh, oh. me or me? Oh. You, Juju. Oh. Ju- oh. Ju- oh. Get out of here, man. Hey. You, Juju. Hey. Hold on, got, I, mean, I got, I got, I got right two, two, two more. No, it's time. It's Juju time, dog. No, it's two of y'all. It's two of y'all, niggas. Juju, UGA, get the fuck out of here. That's right. And take your ass out that top four too. Woo! Ah, to hell with Georgia. I don't like but, Georgia. But, but I was but, gonna ask if Juju tried to nah, say he was a Bama fan. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. This nigga right here. This nigga right here. Talking about Duke this and Duke that. Duke can suck a dick. <laughs> John Shire, get John Flip Shire's that. bum ass up out of here. Yo, <laughs> hey, Damon Sotomar, Bonzi Wells, we go, we back, baby. GT back, we back. Let's Shout do it. I'm a Bonzi on that coach staff. Bonzi on the staff, buddy. Come on I like now. That. I like that. I like I'm that. A, I like that. D Mud. Georgia beat y'all up. last week. I, I'm a. I'm a do. I'm gonna tell y'all this. I'm not even a Georgia fan. With Georgia beat y'all nah. last week. There you go. Nah, there you that. go. Fuck here that, go nigga. They go to delusional shit. Why you talking about last week? We talking about last week. What you talking What's about today? history for? Nigga, we talking about today. Exactly. Today. Is what is Sunday. today? Today's the day the Final Four came out for college football, and them niggas ain't in it. Steve I, Martin I, was I, also I like, a I segment like that we did before you got here. Say what? Look, we arguing this shit up and down before you got here. We look, oh. we done went through this shit. Look, congratulations to everybody involved. I think FSU, they should feel a certain way right now. You know what I mean? If anybody, but I think it. I mean, like Jerry said earlier, up and down right now it look good to me. You feel yeah, me? We we gonna we gonna get some good we gonna get some good football. I say that, so I'm I'm with it. I can't yeah, complain yeah. as a fan. Um, you know they can't keep saving out of that shit. As, as we have Juju right. still, Juju, are you a Ti fan? Yeah, for sure. Okay, I so T. I. is Ti the king of the motherfucking South, and do he run Atlanta? Absolutely. Why not? Like I ain't got no problem with that. Like who, who who's who's the competition? So no, no. Here right. we are. I mean, I, probably I, a, I, was, a, I wasn't I wasn't comparing, but I was saying because uh, an incident happened, right? Yeah. T.I. Uh, was at uh, a game and mm-hmm. he, you know, he, I, I don't, I don't want to allege that he strangled his son, but he did something. <laughs> he he put his hands on his son. He, right, hem- he hemmed him up. He hemmed him up. He hemmed him up. He hemmed him up. Yeah, yeah. But there That's was good. an establishment in Atlanta. <laughs> this is what Atlanta do. Juju can, can confirm or deny that when memes happen or something's going on, they throw it on flyers. Correct? Mm-hmm. Right. And people go right. Anything that's going on, we've seen the Martin, the infamous Martin Luther King <laughs> flyers. We've seen uh, the Obama <laughs> joints. We've seen classic ass flyers, right? Right. right? Someone decided to get funny and put Ti strangling his son like Bart and Homer. <laughs> so, so the flyer ends up in Ti's hands, oh, and Ti shit. shows up the night before and says. You not disrespecting me and mine. Ain't nothing happening here. No beers. First of all, beers is probably the cheapest thing you can buy in there. That nigga that said shit no funny. beers. That's some shit I would have said. <laughs> nigga, no beers. <laughs> like he shut down the beers, bro. Niggas can't even spend a five cash up in there. No tables, no nothing. No tables, no nothing. Right. Like no rice, Damn. no champagne. No rice, no shit. Y'all not, exactly. Y'all not getting no money off me and mine's. 
<laughs> and that nigga oh. shook the he shook the fucking room up so bad that the nigga managed to get not only in on it, they they made him they made the club pay him as an wow. appearance. Yeah. Look, wow. He I said, "Oh, they look, bro, they lucky he let him that that my 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 nigga Tip said, "Yo, I want all of it." He was like, "Yo, he was like, "Yo, y'all going to use mine. I want all of the shit." They, they lucky wow. they got the shit off. Look, wow. the facts are all over the place right now. I know the promoters. I know the Grand okay, Hustle confirm. people. Can you, conf- can so you confirm? That, that's what I'm saying. I, I can definitely not confirm nor deny nothing. Uh, but but <laughs> I just give, from my standpoint, there seems to be victory laps being taken by the promoters at this juncture right now. And so okay. whatever's going on, I don't. I think it's more than meets the eye is what I would say. I mean, so I, feel I, like no, I feel like nobody lost. I feel like nobody right. lost because at the end of the day, you still not only did you you get T.I. to pull up, but you got T.I. to be a part of your event. That probably wasn't even the thing at, a, at the moment. And now you just got a bigger. I moment. mean, and that's like another the, thing. That's another thing. This club is this this one of them clubs. It's, it's popping regardless. And regardless. It's, it's, okay. They, so it they in matter. there regardless every Wednesday okay. at 1145. Salute everybody. Salute. I'm a dog, man. That, this shit one of them. So. I think it was just that misunderstanding on the front end that got kind of broadcast and people ran with whatever they had Yo, to run with from there. You know what I mean? I but I think niggas, it got cleaned up. I love right? political juju. I no, 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 no. I love <laughs> I love politics. niggas that, ex- that exaggerate shit. Like a nigga will show up and say, Yo, man, y'all can't be doing this. And the story will turn into and then they paid that nigga right <laughs> there. He got a cut of the board too. <laughs> like, right. So my, want, my always thing want is, that story to be like <laughs> my question for the group is what other rapper could pull up and shake some shit up like that? Oh shit. Trick trick in Detroit. Tech right. nine in Kansas City. Okay. Um shit, bad bunny anywhere. Bun B in Houston for sure. <laughs> Bun B in Houston. Bad bunny can't do that shit. Man, please. <laughs> He can't. Do and where, where's Bad Bunny from? Puerto, oh, Puerto Rico, maybe, or whatever. That's what Columbia, I'm saying. We, we talking about T.I.'s oh, oh, hometown. Oh, oh. So okay, saying, bad, you said okay. trick, trick in Detroit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. Bad, bad, bad Bunny. I'm, I'm, now, now, bad now bad Buddy tri- definitely could pull a plug in Puerto Rico. ASAP. Yeah, yeah. Puerto Rico. My bad, my bad. I was going to say yeah. Nicky Jam in Puerto Rico. That nigga got pulled. Uh, who's the L.A.? Who's the L.A. nigga could do that? I feel like LA's too big. Probably like Snoop. He can do that shit. Yeah, Probably Snoop. Snoop, 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 yeah, Snoop. Could, he do, some shit could he do that on some other shit, like on the other side of town, so to speak? Which Oh, you talking about some out of, in the blood? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Like, does bro. he got pulled he like that? That's he what couldn't like, even man, give out turkeys at looters. He couldn't even give out turkeys at the swap meet, so I don't know, bro. But it ain't really you know what I'm saying? Like, East like, side, though. like, that's the thing about LA is that if it was a club, any type of club, none of our clubs are in the hood. So it's no, like, that's true. A, but but let me ask a question. Let me ask: Is there anybody in LA who's powerful like that or influential like that, but unaffiliated? I so. Because I feel I like the so, affiliation. The poli- I think the police will get that up out of there. I don't even think you even you don't even you can't even get loud at the door. You gonna get Damn. your ass beat and go to jail. <laughs> hey, yeah. You can't even jailwalk right that. I mean, jaywalk, bro. You get your right. ass beat. Like I'll be Damn. looking. I'll be thinking about that sometimes. I'll be jaywalking in New York and I'll be like, "Damn, these niggas had it easy." Cause you low key yeah. can lose your life over a jaywalk in LA, like at least depending mm. on how stupid, how 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 froggy they felt that day, nigga. That shit, Bruh. nigga. They gonna what exactly up. is jaywalking? Cause I'm always confused. Cause I feel like nigga, I, I do all this crossing shit. the street, you crossing not, the street without the green light. Not go. crossing at the crosswalk, Jerv. When it says walk, then you are jaywalk. Technically, you are jaywalking. Oh, all right. Yeah, and I figured that's what it was. I mean, they was fucking with me in Arizona. Dog, they gave they gave Michelle Beagle a fucking jaywalking ticket outside of ESPN, bro. That's hey, yo, that's the highest level woman, of it. Giving a giving a top shelf white woman a, a, fam- a, fucking, a famous a, white woman. They gave a famous said, white woman. It, oh, listen, in a Out- town like Bristol, right outside oh, of where she's right. famous. Bro. This, is LA, this is LA. This is LA. Oh, this is LA. Oh, okay. LA outside LA PC, bro. No one walks so in Bristol. So that lets walk? you know, bro. <laughs> that's why I was about to be like, that's even crazy, nigga. <laughs> See top shelf. So if nigga kidnapped her, nigga, they gonna go get her tomorrow. Shouts to Patrice O'Neill right. on this joke, by the way. <laughs> um, but Shout that's how crazy that shit is. Too. That's how that's how that shit is, uh, uh, Juju. Like if we was in a car right now and you was dressed just like how you was, I'd be like, hey, bro, I hate to do this, but you want to take your hood off and your glasses. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, I mean, who could have did it? That's that was crazy. unaffiliated in LA. 
Maybe mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mike still could, but definitely would <laughs> your boy Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta be his boy? Why is my boy? That's your boy. That's your boy. That's your boy. Hey, Jason, that's a great lob. I heard DJ Artistic. Shout out to DJ Artistic. He posted oh, yeah. that Diddy is now on the non playlist. On the cancel list. He said cancel he, he, request he was doing, list. He was doing a party, and he said the person who hired him said, "No Diddy." Take that's that crazy. Okay. But what does that you, what does that include? Is it did he produce joints? Is it all I, any? I, but I think I think it, it means it's got to be. It got to it got to be like satisfy you because it's yeah it's because be you know what it was because they, they did the same shit Part with R. Two. Kelly and they were like are we gonna take out all the songs that R. Kelly wrote and they're like nah nigga that's like fifty percent of the catalog right there <laughs> right, so you right. just got to be like Definitely. I don't want to hear his voice. <laughs> Right, yeah. definitely not. So you can you can just song. you can the play a song that has him on, but just not play Diddy's verse. Is that is that? No, I think you got you mm. can't play a song that he appears on. So, so you can't play. Is hypnotized on the, on the no Diddy list because he appears yeah. on the song. All about the Benjamins. I can't listen to that no more. Nah. Can't listen to it, bro. No, you can't know listen, what? I think that, I think that I think that they do play. No they do hold on. They do play all you about the real A lot of times. They'll just play Biggie's verse. Mm. Okay. They'll just yeah. that, like they'll just play Biggie's verse, the last verse on the track. Mm -hmm. Victory, you can't because the niggas ad libbing all the way through it. Right. Hypnotize, uh -huh. you can't because he's ad libbing all the way through it. That's Juicy, fucking crazy to say. You no. can't play Juicy. I can't play Juicy. No. Like I'm not. This nigga saying. I, I think I think a nigga been. I think I think I think I think somebody <laughs> a damn near been the rules for that, bro. I just don't believe yeah. that. I, I don't think Sherry, it's gonna lie now though. I heard Sherry Dennis, I love you last night, and I giggled because I was just like, Who's I'm waiting. That record? Every that was, time I, was, I hear I was at a spot. I was at uh every time hey. Rich, I must every call it Richard and James because I'm not about to say the other word. So <laughs> you know he said Richard and Richard James, and James. Mm, You know what I'm saying? Damn, bro. They play so you pull it. Who's up. Richard? <laughs> hey man, so that's that. So that's your spot. Did you pull it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh shit. Hey man, I'm about to say, oh, bro, that's not my spot. Hey yo. So, um, I seen a tweet that said. Uh, when when Tiger Woods cheated on a white woman, his life was ruined. Why? I mean, I want to ask you this question: um, Is why celebrities uh, getting caught cheating such a like a slur, like a smear campaign? Like it is the worst thing that they potentially could do. Um, I think it's because for it depends on who you were talking about, but for many of them, I think it's the they sold an image of like like for Tiger that mm -hmm. was the wholesome nigga, right? Like, mm -hmm. oh, this is the black guy you can bring around your old white parents and he'll fit right in and they'll talk about golf and shit. And so I need to marry, marry this uh, beautiful supermodel and she's Swedish and she's blonde and that's for white men. Like, that's the epitome. Like, like that's the baddest bitch they've ever seen in their life. Mm -hmm. Like, what? How could you? And like, I'm like, I know how. She probably doesn't suck dick or like some some weird shit that I'm over like. But the mm -hmm. bitch for Shoney's does, right? It's like, why is he fucking these ugly bitches? Like, because Shoney's they do the shit crazy. that he like, man. Yeah. This shit is real. Like, <laughs> you don't want Shoney's. to be begging for head, man. Like, but, or a nigga just like to have a roster. And that's what, what? I was looking at. Like, Tyga is a, like, he a roster nigga. Look at niggas' dads, like how that's Barry the name Sanders, of the episode, by the way. How the Barry Sanders' dads think he was the greatest running back. If you see the Tiger Woods documentary, that nigga Pops was outside. You feel me? Yeah, like, he, he learned. Yeah, he so, learned. So when they was pulling up to the golf course, Tiger was seeing what it was. You feel mm -hmm. me? It's like father, like son. The apple don't fall too far from the tree. So I think that's all that was. Like niggas just like having joints. I still don't. I just still don't understand it, man. And I think it's since it's 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 since I've been a little kid, right? Going to the fucking checkout in the supermarket, and you see the tabloids, right? And you're just like, "Damn, is this really bad?" Like, cause now it just twists your judgment so bad. You looking at the niggas so crazy, right? Ryan Shazier is it Shazier Shazier? Oh, Shazier, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Well, that's, again, again, because that nigga had a wholesome ass story. The nigga almost mm -hmm. was paralyzed, and then he's walking and all that shit. 
Motherfuckers are like, I'm and rooting for walk you. into his new hoes life. <laughs> like, so like somehow, he's like, slide. hey, then he oh. goes like, you know what wasn't paralyzed? <laughs> Come on. My man. Come on. dick. Oh, <laughs> but yes, dog, like, niggas is like, I had, I had a homie, right? My homie, my homie was like, why she, why she post that? Right. Why she posted conversations. Right. She should just took it like went on about her life. Like, oh, I'll find somebody better. And I'm like, bro, she not about to let him walk away scot free. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, like clean, like, oh, I just cheated. And I'm going to just go on about my day. Like, nah, bro. Normally when you see a nigga cheated, that shit be like, like a nigga caught like three bodies, nigga. Like that. We be on a campaign of like, we shouldn't even know this. First of all, like, niggas be like. But I'm gonna say, but but Trey, like, like, think about all the motherfuckers that, like, for instance, Big Sean was fucking uh, Ariana Grande, right? Mm -hmm. We don't know how that shit happened or ended or whatever. Like, I'm guessing one of them cheated on, like, but nobody gives a shit. You know why? Mm Because no one looks at Big Sean like, I thought you were one of the good ones, right? (laughs) It's like, if it's like one of the good ones or like, or a relationship that we thought, no, that's the purest love there is. Like, one of my favorite fucking songs is Alicia Keys' Unbreakable. Because every relationship she mentions in that song is now fucking. So if Russell, so a good example, if Russell Wilson was to cheat. Yes. Oh man! Oh, absolutely! Yeah. Oh man! Absolutely! <laughs> oh, 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 man. Like when Jay Z, like you said, the the people thought that was a purest love with Jay Z and mm-hmm. Beyonce, and like it's funny because I would always think like. Again, I listen to Jay Z music. I know what type of nigga this is, and I'm like, <laughs> this nigga has, I'm like, this nigga has been dating this girl since like 2002. You tell me he hasn't fucked one other bitch? Y'all crazy? Y'all, y'all literally crazy? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, there's, there's, but there's she's Beyonce. Right. Exactly. And, it's like, so yeah, and the girls will be like, this is Beyonce. Exactly. Like, what the Sometimes it's about? a girl. Sometimes you could be a piece of shit, but if your girl is like what they think is like, oh, they could never get so. Tiger had a little bit of that too. Like I said, his girl was like, why would you ever cheat on that? Like, it's the same thing. Why would you ever cheat on Beyonce? Bitch, I'm Tiger like, Woods. Like, what the fuck do you mean? Why would I cheat? Oh, you know what gets thrown at me on a daily basis? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> it's hard turning crazy. everything yeah. down. Yeah. It's tiring sometimes. Sometimes I just say, fuck it. You. Yeah, exactly. I'm on. tired of running from these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of running. You. You, come here. Exactly. You. <laughs> you can do the prince. You come here. <laughs> um, what do we think about Aaron Rodgers playing this year? That nigga not playing it up. He's a sick nigga. I I told you I said this on the show on Levitard show. I said my dream, and Juju was like, Oh, why would you have such a negative dream? I was like, because I'm a negative nigga, man. Like, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I dream is to that nigga to like do all this shit. And he's coming back and he run out and carry the flag on the field like he did the first time, and then like, all right, man, and he snapped. And the first play, the niggas first hit him back. so hard. First play, niggas get hit so hard, his foot just go fly like the hole from the knee down. So you on some South Park? Gosh. You on some yeah. South Park Chappelle shit? Just, oh my gosh. <laughs> lost the whole leg right there on the bro. First that would be play. so tragic, bro. Yeah, it would be so hilarious though, man. Y'all don't see that shit like <laughs> just <laughs> they be laughing at somebody getting hurt. It's crazy. That shit's That's funny, wild. man. I don't give a fuck. It's fucking <laughs> yeah, I crazy. Good. I do think he fucking tripping though, like. I don't know. I mean, I, I remember T.O. coming back when he broke his leg, bro. Like, and, and niggas was wilding on that. Like, yo, the Super back Bowl. To- Hold on. <laughs> the Super Bowl. There's a big ass difference. <laughs> this nigga just doing it just to do it. The, the Jets are ass. ass. The Jets are that's ass, true. Bro. And that's the funny thing. It was going to be ass probably with him anyway. anyway. But keep but, going away here, bro. Because like, I'm a, like, like, Trey, you, you have friends who've torn their Achilles. I got friends who've torn mm-hmm. their Achilles. When they say like six to like nine months, nine to twelve months recovery, it's like to be a like elite level athlete, to be a regular nigga walking around. Some niggas don't even get the surgery. You know that? Like some people mm-hmm. are like, "Yo, just fucking scoot around; it'll heal on its own." Dog, so it's my like, god, brother, fucking tourist shit on fucking uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> this nigga was like, "I might not need surgery, dog." I was like, <laughs> "Hey, man," I was like, "You probably gonna be sitting down for a year." He said, "Don't put that on me." I said, "All right, Aaron Rodgers, nigga." You <laughs> But I say I say all this to say if this nigga's goal is to get on a field, take a snap, and throw it, like he, he yes, he's gonna be able to do that. Like if his thing is like he's gonna, gonna fuck him fucking, up, bro. Yo, fuck if I'm up. on defense, I'm fucking that nigga up. I'm getting a late hit. Oh, I'm getting a penalty. I don't give a shit, man. Because he, he think it's shit sweet. my ass. He think it's yeah. shit sweet. 
Like, nigga, you got shit fucked up. You ain't about here about to get off a touchdown pass on one leg on me, nigga. He and drinks Cambodian goat milk. Nah, that nigga be on that ayahuasca, bro. Breast milk. Don't breast milk, excuse me. Breast milk. <laughs> that nigga sick, bro. the finest breast milks. Um, <laughs> Young Thug went to trial, bro. Well, I'm sorry. Truly humbled under God. Yes, yes. God, what do we think? What do we think about this acronym trend? I think it's corny as hell because uh, I think it's hilarious. I, th- I okay. think it's hilarious if the niggas are do- if we're being funny. If niggas are actually trying to convince me that Coke Boys, no, I'm thinking, the fun, I'm thinking the funny, I'm thinking the funny, our kings yeah. everywhere, or, or then nah, that shit is is whack. But if it's, yeah, kings just kings joke. <laughs> yeah, it's funny if, if niggas is coming up with this shit, man. I don't mind it as like a, a Twitter trending topic. You don't like yeah. it, Trey? You know what it is? A- I think I think it's dated. So I think it's like a two day thing, bro. Like I don't want to hear yes. about this next Friday. You know what I'm saying? No, like you gotta know, like it's like it's like Facebook, right? Being Jerv still on there, I don't know. Jason, I seen somebody say, "Oh, hey, friend, buy an ad." I'm not on there for the record. My Facebook got hacked, like probably like. Oh yeah, you was hacking niggas. He still oh, yeah. hacking. I, got, I got hacked. What you was, to, this, you was trying to flip one hundred ten thousand, Jerv? No, nigga, there's no fucking nigga. customer service and nothing. Like there's nothing you can do, dog. Like you just sit back and get hacked. Hey, like, this shit's nigga, crazy. This nigga Jerv called me stressed, like, yo, you know how to get like reach the fucking customer service for Facebook? And I'm like, no, because they don't have one, nigga. It don't exist. So <laughs> like, that shit's to, crazy. Like, you had to take a picture, damn near holding a sock, nigga, to prove it's you. Like this shit is crazy, bro. But I was looking like and I'm like, damn, uh, in this particular situation, the the memes be so late. So, so late, bro. That shit be like 10 days late. I see some shit my mom was posting. I'm like, bro, when did you hear this shit? She got the crying Jordan meme all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, I feel you though, Trey. I think the, the thug jokes or whatever got like a little low stuff. Like, like, like tomorrow, I don't want to see that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're going to get your shit off, get it off today. Please. Right, right. That nigga said tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow is but, crazy, bro. But, but, but aren't you kind of at fault for this though, bro? Like... The platform you're on, no disrespect, isn't that the platform that probably has kind of like the delayed reaction to shit for, for like the audience that's going to be there? No, I'm talking about X slash formerly known as Twitter. Yeah. Oh, they laid over there. He said, I'm he's saying, saying, like, let, let the people, no let people have fun, bro. That you you want to let the girls have fun? Let the people have fun. Party <laughs> pooper, like niggas oh, like Joe. Yo, you you're a party pooper, man. Yo, Trey tra- right, tra- had. Sir. Trey had one of my favorite tweets of, of the year. <laughs> the motherfuckers tweeted like, man, what's stopping you from doing this? And the dude is like in some ice place with no shirt on, with two swords, and he jumped off a cliff into a, a pool of water that's cut into the ice and shit. And Trey was just like, I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> this is real, though. First of all, first of all, bro, this is why men don't live long, bro. Can we do shit like that? Can we think that shit fun? But First of all, a white man, because we ain't doing that. Nigga not yeah, jumping in no fucking cold plunge. Girls, that look like that look like the fucking hole to the end of the earth. How dark that shit oh, look. I'm cool, no, bro. You could take <laughs> any one of those things and make it just its own thing, and I wouldn't do it. It's like, hey, would you, you get into the, like like up to the edge and just ju- jump in the water? No. Hey, would you jump off this cliff? The weather's amazing. It's like 80 degrees and the water's warm. Would you jump off this cliff into that hole? Like, no, I wouldn't. No. Hey, would you have a shirt off? In the snow and ice, you ain't got to jump into anything. You just got to have a shirt over. The, nope, they ain't going to do axes. That. Right? Yeah, with you two gonna axes. Hold, you gonna hold two, two axes. axes. First yeah, of all, would before. you hold two axes? No. What yeah, do exactly. I have an axe for? Would you hold two <laughs> axes? No. And <laughs> why is he? What's he need the axes for? Was he about to fight? Some, I thought he was yeah. gonna like some other shit was gonna jump out. He's got like, a fight like, whatever beneath that water, my nigga. Nah, bro, was That's just the end of Earth. Video, man. He was trying to look like God of War. I don't know if y'all seen him play yeah, God of War. He did look like God of War. Yeah, yeah he definitely on some God of War shit. Hey, so I'm looking at the sleeper standings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Palm Tree Palm Tree P is at 11 and 1. Okay. Quincy Chad, 7 and 5 at number 4. Shout out, shout out to Quincy Chad. The leader of our group, Team Juju Gotti. Six and six at six. Okay. Jerv and the Jervets, five and seven. Ooh, this the, two this, this, uh, this will be different after this week. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, team Sealsburg, four and eight at 10. And at 11, pick six, Trayvon, three and nine. 
When the playoffs for, for the record, I mean, there's only 12 people in the league, just to let you know. So, but 11, it means he's really shit. Like, just want to let you know <laughs> well, I, I knew by the record, three and nine. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. That, that, that gave it away. What, when did the playoffs start? What week? Two weeks. Next Two week. Weeks? After this, we got the, uh, yeah, so guys, this weekend and next week. I gotta, I gotta okay. win really bad, bro. Cause, like, if I, if Jason <laughs> lose and I win and I get, wait, no, Jason, you beat me, right? I think I beat you, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you still, we might be a tie. Yeah. Depending on point, depending on points, but I, I can't, I'm hopefully I'm pulling for these last, cause what if I get an upset? That's the thing I got to look for. If I can get an upset, cause I'm, Yo. I'm destined right every now. Team, <laughs> hold on, does every team make it to the playoffs? No. Hell no. Nah. We ain't, we ain't every, no. making it. I mean, oh, for the record, cause, cause I'm, I'm making it. There's, this, top 10. No, top, there's no. 10 teams make the playoffs. Five and five, I think, on the thing. I got to look at No, it. no, no, good brother. You're looking at the, you see, looking at the, that other bracket you saw was what they call the consolation bracket, my G. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hope to not be in attendance. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't, I don't want, I'm not accepting that, that invite. Bro, my team is so trash, bro. Like, it's been trash for the past, like, five weeks in a row. I don't know how I'm making it this far. I'm a so, waiver wire warrior. That's the <laughs> only thing that's been happening, bro. All right. So I have a potential playoff bracket in front of us. Palm Tree okay. P has a bye. Quincy Chad versus G Bishop. Sandman yeah. gets a bye. Juju Gotti versus Jay Palmer. Uh, yeah, I like Jervis it. Out. So Jervis out? Yeah, I'm, 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 out. I, I, no, I'm out. I'm out as of right now. Oh, By the time out. this episode comes out, I will be in that six. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> so we good over here, baby. <laughs> we're we're out of the winners bracket. We're playing for the loser. This is for us. It's the toilet bowl right now. We're playing for the toilet bowl, right? <laughs> no, it's, 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 li- it's, it's literally called the toilet bowl, right? So Jeremy CS he gets a buy. Uh, cousin Bruce versus Jerv first round, right there. Me, it says I has a I have a buy for the moment. But uh, Jason is playing against Maze, whoever M A Z E is, and then if Jason beats Maze, he plays me in the second round. Hmm. <laughs> Listen. So so yes, everybody makes it, but it's a toilet bowl and it's a bowl that actually matters. Yeah. See, I'm not. I'm not even letting you get that off, bro. We don't care about that toilet <laughs> bowl shit, bro. Oh, man. bro we're not about just, just, because I, you I, know I, you I, in I, that, Joe. We're not about to big up the toilet bowl so nah. we can talk about that shit. No, sir. No, yeah, no, once, no. Once, but, once but, the, but the regular season not, is over, my season is done. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Bro, it's over <laughs> for y'all. That's why I was saying y'all should have traded me a player, bro. <laughs> Nobody in this league traded me one damn time, bro. Except for Trey. You traded me the first week of the league. But it was it was some bullshit cam makers for a goddamn tight end. Some shit that never mattered, not one time. But like, I took the trade. I can't. Like, shame Listen. on all of y'all. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all. Hey, Amin, Amin all was, good, first of all, good, Amin was at the commissioner, was not about to let you have multiple trades with me. That that that's some that's some Lakers fucking uh Memphis shit. I mean, <laughs> you know that is not a real sentence you just said. You could have traded me. I was giving you reasonable trades. I was trying to trade you Patrick Mahomes for Devontae Adams, straight up. That was and looking back, that's a better Man. trade for you. That than was me. definitely a better trade. I just no, but I, I think I came, I think Devontae Adams came off like a 47 point night one night, and I was like, nah, he gonna have a good thing. And it never uh, happened. I love it. And now look I at love it. <laughs> now look at me. Now look at me. Three and nine. Now look at me. No, but listen, despite that, Jerb, I don't want to hear that shit. Juju, you're playing for some, you're you're holding it down for us, bro, against the regular <laughs> niggas that's actually winning. But y'all don't try to duck this shit and say season over, nigga. Because it, my season's not over, bro. I'm mathematically no, alive. Nigga, you, you, don't, you don't have you don't have an asterisk next you're to your the, name already. No, you're in the toilet bowl, <laughs> nigga. Did you not hear that? I understand that, my nigga, but I'm fighting for a playoff berth. I, you will it's not. It, yeah. You are solidified, damn near a top two pick in next year's draft. Yeah, however, yeah. that goes. I am still fighting. I'm fighting for my life. Okay, and you are not going to bring that juju over here, my nigga. No pun intended. Hey, no, find another word. Don't use my dog juju name like that. No, look, 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 don't, don't try, don't try. Look, you've been, you do a lot of this curving, my guy. Like I see how, I see how you operate. I want to take opportunity to be rude a little bit. 
And I just want to come at one of my brothers right quick because I'm so embarrassed to even like shame on Jason for this season he had on fantasy football. Your mm. team was mud from the beginning. I tried to <laughs> show, throw you some trades. You ain't oh. never hit the waiver wire. You ain't never hit the day. Like, brother, your team was so trash. I just want to shame you on. Just let, I just want to let the people know. You ain't I'm get, still you better, than, I'm still better, than, better than Trey, though. I got That's more wins than Trey. And I almost look hit Palm Tree Steve. I was Touché. I was one That's point not... away from beating Palm Tree P. If you go look at the game, like look at the hey, game, man. Hey, before you start hey, coming man. to me, brother. You know what I'm <laughs> hey, like, I'm just telling you the street stand, bro. That's all. I hey. I walk to the grocery store yeah, every day. People telling me, "Hey, bro, how Jason Lee?" Doing? <laughs> like, hey, man. You hey, saying, say, say, hey, saying a nigga better than me in fantasy football I ain't saying much because I didn't come in with the expectations of winning anything. You football. see, you see how they do. I mean, you yeah. see this. You see this. Hey, I mean, hey, you see stay this. In the cool. stay in the look, look, you see this. Look, yo, you all you try to do, it, all you gotta do is spin records, bro. That's all you gotta do. Okay? Okay, you all out here trying to, uh, you, I mean, I mean, saying that you have a better record than me. I mean, I mean, what do I know? You know, I, I, I'm just, I'm just a podcaster. Like, I don't know fantasy. Like, come on, we're not, we're not getting all that off, bro. Because you're trashing the, you trashing the in the fantasy basketball joint too, right? Oh, Hey, I'm Duke as hell and that Look, shit. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna bring that up too, because a lot of y'all niggas is real, is real slacking over there, and I don't care that you don't want to. Yeah. You you signed up. I'm slapping you. That's all. I, I don't I don't want to hear. Oh, I don't check this and I don't check. Slapping right. you. I'm slapping right. you. I don't, I don't even understand you. how to play the league. We in. No, nah, Jason. Don't, don't, bro, I don't. Jason. Trade, Jason. Trade. I'm not. Me no role. Me no role. But you don't understand, Jason. Me and Trey talked about that shit for like 30 minutes with you on the pie. All you had to do was go read the instructions. You were just rebelling <laughs> against the system right now, and you refused. <laughs> so no, me no role. Those six orders of me no roles for Jason right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is I'm I'm in the top five and two of my other leagues. You know what I'm saying? League ah, where, here you where, go. Where, What's where the Vincent Man Joe? Where, where I'm paid to play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm number two in one. I'm number five in another. So, you know, I'm focused on my money leagues Jason. right now. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> respectfully, <laughs> nobody give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> Respect, <laughs> respectfully, <laughs> man, I'm out here fighting for my life. I mean, this is going every for every which way. <laughs> bro, what <laughs> last place got to do again, bro? Last place got to do something. Yeah, we never figured it out. We right, haven't, right? we haven't decided yet. No, yo, hey, yo, oh, well, you got one more week, my guy, because right. that last place shit about to be real. Wait, wait, Stay why there. are we scrapping Stay the toilet the bowl? The toilet bowl don't count. The last place shit is for the regular. Come on, regular season. No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. on Wouldn't last place be the nigga that's last place that, after the toilet bowl? Yes, that's what I'm saying. It says it. Look, look at Jerv. He don't want to be a part of the toilet. All right. Well, that's cool. All right. Whatever. L listen, you want to fall for this play right here at me? Go ahead. You the commissioner. I'm not I'm asking me no rolling on this one either. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being a tyrant. I'm asking the question. Like, wouldn't Hell it be no. the nigga that got in there after all? Because don't the records keep adding up though afterward? Yes. No. Yeah. No. 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 The records doesn't change. The so record doesn't playoffs, change. When you get to the playoffs, it's just like playoffs in, in real life. In There's real no life. records. That's so it's not, so it's not so, like March Madness where so, you, so you don't, even... so, so you don't want to play in the NIT. I get it. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> now, I, I'll play in the NIT oh, if I so oh, have to, but oh, I know one thing, my ass is not going to be up for fucking coming in last place because I didn't get slapped all year long. The nigga that got slapped deserves the last place shit. Hey, it's a one-game right. season. It's a one-game season. That's what makes it exciting. Look, so, nah, this, this is not the know. NIT, bro. This the... Uh, this really uh, trying to make it to CFP. Niggas <laughs> right. last place. place. Last place got a what Trey uh black belt and those shoes he had on last week. <laughs> but it's gonna be Trey, so you can't that's not a punishment. Right. <laughs> Take a picture in it, bro. That nigga's post, shoes had gotta post it on your Instagram. Whoever last turtle. place Abby, no Abby, comments, Abby. no explanation. Just you nigga in the shoe picture. look like this. <laughs> nigga shoe look like this. <laughs> One with the toes and then the rest of the toes. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, with that matter of fact, not scrap that. Last place got to do a photo shoot on some railroad tracks like this with their hands and they. Hand in their, uh, <laughs> that nigga nah. sit on some railroad tracks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you tell you what, <laughs> it's exactly like the high school uh a senior picture. <laughs> we um, la last last topic before we get up out of here. Fat Joe, he says ninety five percent of his raps is a lie. 
I know a lot of people are like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to say this. Maybe 95% is a little high, but that nigga shit is mostly non-factual. <laughs> Starting with a story that came out this week that I thought everybody knew until I saw how everyone reacted. His name is Joey Crack, not because he sells a lot of crack, but because, because when he was a kid, his pants was always falling down and his ass crack was showing. And the niggas called him Joey Crack. And that, ladies been, and gentlemen. He should have been a plumber, dog. <laughs> dog. First Sorry, of all, that's a way more up. believable story than, yes. than anything else. That was a, a great dad joke there, Trey. But <laughs> second you. of all, that's a story that I heard legit like 20 years ago. So I know that shit is true because there's no way a lie someone made up 20 years ago could come back around and resurface. So that's um, impossible for you to hear the same lie twice. Nah, nah, <laughs> impossible. But, but but the other thing, that, Juju, if you want to prove me, lie to me right now and then wait 20 years and then do the same right, lie. Cool. I'll, believe, I'll believe it. I like but, that sweater. <laughs> hey, so do I, nigga. <laughs> hey, this, this, this is my, oh, hey, this is my no living soldier shit, man. <laughs> shit, nigga got camo and shit. Camo but, um, college, college hoodie is sick. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I, did you, you know, go to the, Did you go to a bookstore for that? <laughs> I, I bought that shit online, nigga. I don't know. Oh, okay. This nigga said the doing... bookstore. I mean, nigga, that's where you buy the merch. Nigga, on the campus, college, he mean like bookstore. on campus and shit. Yo, but my my point is this: it's like. Most of these rappers are lying. Like, I didn't know this was some shit that would shock y'all. Most of them are lying. Now, every once in a while, you get a, like the nigga fucking Bobby Schmerder, <laughs> where the niggas is like detailing shit, blow by blow. Hey, like, yeah, that happened. But also, I mean, there. the niggas that don't lie, be in jail or die. <laughs> yeah, like fucking. Because they go too Mitch hard. Got, they go Mitch too got hard. a body like a week ago, and guess what? <laughs> nigga was in jail the next week. But you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Nigga hear that shit and be like, yo, he really did that shit. Oh, shit. Niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, you think fucking Jay-Z lost fucking 92 bricks? bricks? Oh, come on, it's, man. It's a nigga. The Jared really believed that, though. <laughs> the streets. Jared Listen, really I'm, not getting, that. I'm not getting all that because, again, <laughs> we, what you're not, not going to do is that. We're not doing that. We're not. We're not doing that. Fat Joe, I, I, I believe, I, I, I'm shocked. Hey, that's what Jared wanted Gail to ask Jay-Z in the right. interview, Trey. Okay, I see what you're doing. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Get your shit off. Go ahead, go get your shit off. Nigga, you called Gail King a bad fucking interviewer because you didn't ask. I did. You didn't ask about what happened with Memphis Bleak. And fucking that's not, that's actually not why. Right Thank now. you for revealing my group chat, chat. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. But no, that's not why I said it. I said it because I felt like she fanned out a lot in the interview. Mm. Nigga, what would you do? Oh my! I'm God. not fucking an interviewer. No, oh, <laughs> there hey, it is. Hey, <laughs> like, what it the was, fuck? Hey, I, see, I seen a meme where the nigga was like, after eating dinner with Jay Z, turning down the 50k and going to work the next morning. I thought of Jerv. because <laughs> he would have turned down the bread, bro. For sure. Go fucking eat with Jay. <laughs> an album lyric. So, so this is what we doing. Because, 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 I'm not no, this is what man. this is what he's doing because I didn't want to participate in the toilet bowl. So now he's trying to get his jokes off <laughs> on me now. <laughs> it's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. No, Jerv. It's okay. Bro, bro. I think Fat Joe is a good liar, bro. Like it's a good lie. Like you want to tell the kids right now. You want to clean your image up. I used to be the Joey Crack, the lie I made up back in the day. Yeah, I'm bringing that back because I told enough people that already. Even the mean know that one, so I'm gonna bring that back. <laughs> and so people can't say this about me. I'm gonna say, and every word I was saying was a lie. Weak, like, come on, bro. Right. Going, another, man. another, another like great lie. Crack cocaine, man. <laughs> another great lie. About told about by I will job. say, I do treat, like, in the words of Hove, it's only entertainment. I do. I don't take it too serious and too literal. Where I want niggas to be really proven that they can kill niggas and all this other yeah. shit. It's great storytelling, bro. Like some again, Rick Ross got manifestation raps, right? That nigga be if, saying some shit that don't even be existing sometimes. If, let, me, like, let me say that shit right. sound good over a beat. Let me it sound good over Justice shit. League beat. So I don't care. Let me, <laughs> let me say this shit real quick. If Fifth hadn't exposed that nigga, y'all niggas would still be believing this nigga was moving mad weight. If Fifth hadn't put him out there like that, I would I would say no because I know the real Rick Ross. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't believe none of these niggas to keep it funky with y'all. Like I don't believe not a narrow niggas doing hand to hands and shit. Like they become fucking <laughs> kids. <laughs> only, <laughs> only thing I believe is 50 Cent when he said he got shot because nigga we know you got shot. 
Everything else, for all <laughs> intents and purposes, mm. is a lie. When these niggas be saying they be doing drugs, I don't know, man. The Detroit niggas, well, no, they, I believe they be doing these drugs. Nah, some, some like, of them. Like, even Future, bro. Like Future be. Oh, that nigga shit. said he took fifty six Zannies though. That's OD. That's what I'm saying. Like exactly, bro. All this should be a lie. Nigga. <laughs> like, what you mean? Like, so. I ain't gonna lie. I, my feelings would be hurt if Snoop didn't really. Well, like, think about it, Snoop rap like. Did Dr. Dre actually? Well, Dr. Dre did smoke the chronic, bro. He did smoke chronic. <laughs> but bro. I would be, I would be a cop. That's a lie. But it's a great rapper. No, but 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 yeah, like Dr. Dre got mad shit. Like when the motherfuckers talking about when they were in NWA talking about doing this shit, doing nothing. They can do that shit. Like the only gangster in the group was fucking E. Easy, Everybody yeah. else is some regular niggas, man. <laughs> right. CB4 Easy. is great, bro. Even great even movie. Pusha T, your favorite, Jerv. I, most of that shit is a lie. Ninety eight percent of the shit that he Look said. Jerv. Look at Jerv. Look at Jerv. It's a clever lyric. You tell this nigga that Santa doesn't hey, exist hey, right now. No, I, I mean, lyric, I wish bro. we had a zoom in feature, bro. I would just zoom in when that nigga was here. I, 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 listen, bro. I, I always wait for people to bring up Fat Joe and Pusha T, and respectfully, I'd be like, ah, I hear you. I'm not saying everything them niggas say or said is a lie, but. I'm not going to say I know or I don't, but I'm going to just say I believe. You believe what? In Jesus? I, I be- My boy just said a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say. I'm, I'm just saying, like, st- I, I've, I, I know of or heard of or whatever the fuck. I don't know shit. Out, but motherfuckers, like, yo, some of the shit them is real. Like, some, I'm not saying, saying everything. Like, the y'all niggas smoking the crack. Niggas- the nigga's what? saying, "Who smoking crack?" I, this, I'm, let me translate. Let me translate oh what Jerv is trying to say. What I'm not trying to say is, anything, but I'm trying no, to no, say no. something. I'm saying this is what Jerv is saying. Jerv is saying I attended uh, an institution of higher learning in the <laughs> Virginia area, and so rumors of the escapades of certain individuals from that area has been confirmed by me or people that I <laughs> frequent with. Not me. Or people I frequent with, but and not but, saying it has, but I'm just saying it was it may or may not have. <laughs> but bro, the, the amount of shit that this nigga Pusha T says about moving boatloads of yeah, I mean, bro, that's that 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 is rap. Like that is that is the exaggeration of rap. Yeah, that's saying, that's my point. My that's point, Jervis. Like, yeah, I mean, everybody niggas, does that. Niggas do do hand to hand shit and then end up and talking yeah, about like, like drug king Yeah, like, exactly. All right, so you sold a little blow, man. Who are right. how y'all know that man that's so who said who old, man? Among us. That man might be who getting was? out the box right now, but we know. Hey man, I, I, I don't know, know shit. Bro. I don't know. Okay. We can have poems on me. He ain't, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> can't I think it's everybody's uh. best interest. And that's why I like what Fat Joe said. Why I agree with Joe, you know, position Juju is like if it's a liar the truth, it's best to. You know, right. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Gonna be like, yeah, what, what, man, it's a crazy exaggeration. That nigga Jason right on the money. <laughs> but, it's, but but you know what's crazy? It's like it doesn't like from a music standpoint, it doesn't matter. And and what, that's what Rick Ross ultimately proved is like, why does it matter if it happened or not? I'm putting the words together in a way that's creative, that's fucking. Uh, uh, dope. That's on a dope beat or whatever. You enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck do you? Nobody goes to watch goddamn a movie and be like. Man, that nigga really go back in time and shit. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, back to the, back to the future. Is done, and that's it. Like, that this nigga Michael J. Fox. <laughs> that nigga was that nigga was in his neighborhood the whole time. He just yeah. went around the corner. That shit he was a car for box. <laughs> this obsession that people have, like, but that, like that's that's kind of like the shit I be seeing on Instagram. All these little videos, pranks. Oh, this uh, watch this person lose their shit in a, a mall. And, like. I don't believe any of this shit is real, but like I don't have to like because I understand like no no these niggas are just doing a skit to make us laugh or make us share that shit and that's in cool. The words, it should. I was gonna say in the, the words, words of Jade of Jade Hoy stage social media mm-hmm. event. Yeah man, like why you gotta be real? Motherfuckers are sweating. No no that shit really happened, man. You could tell. Look at this lady how she looking at them. That shit is real. I'm like, what the fuck, man. <laughs> Yo, if a nigga gotta go that hard, to, I'm gonna be like, yo, you got it. Yep, yeah, it's real, my nigga. Yeah, man. That's way too much to be explaining, bro. Niggas be believing in Santa Claus. That's all it is. Still, still. <laughs> With 92 crazy. bricks in what the sleigh. Santa? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had 92 bricks in the sleigh, man. Sick dog. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm-mm. Hungry as hell. What we got? What else we got? That was it. We good? That, that was, was it. it. That was it. 
All right. That's going to do it for us today. Remember, patreon.com slash count the things. Make sure you tapped in, getting all that extra content for Black Trey, for Jason Madison, for Juju Gotti, for John Gervais. I'm Amino Hassan, reminding you to stay black, motherfucker. Go GT! Fuck Georgia. <laughs> <laughs>